So after about two years of me messing around with different designs and stuff, finally got the laser cutter in a running state uh, with the CO2 laser in it. As you can see, it's sort of been mucking around with stuff, burning everything. Um, it's a bit annoying at the moment though because I don't have a bed made up, so I've just clamped some NDF on here and it's, it's all warped and there's a camera tripod under there supporting that and it's just it's really bodgy, so you know stuff doesn't really cut properly because um, the focal point keeps changing, but you know it works for now. Uh, so just got to start working on the bed and well it's yeah well it works so that's a good thing <coughs> um, so basically we've got all the wires here main ribbon cable and I'm just doubling up each wire to the stepper motor just for a bit more current handling uh, air assist tube I've got some cable chain coming probably tomorrow, so I'll run some cable chain along here and then another one across there. Just make it look a bit neater. And there's not really that much that has to go in it anyway, but yeah. Um, in here. Oops. This is what I mean. It's. Oh, try not to collapse this. Yeah, anyway, I'm not going to be able to move that. Uh, so, yeah, we've got the controller down here. Uh, as I said, the display unit will actually go up the front, but it's sort of sitting there for now. Two stepper drivers, uh, the air assist pump, power supply with two big batteries sitting on top. Ah, oh, here's the nozzle here. So yeah, it's got the air assist pump just running constantly at the moment. <coughs> Eventually it'll go on a relay, so it'll only come on when it's running. Just got a saucepan of water down here until I get my radiator. First mirror, CO2 laser, it's power supply, and then down in there is the pump. Pump down there and then next to it in line with the tube is a temperature sensor. And that goes to little panel display. Focus. Choose something. Let's see. Import. Uh, what we got? Uh, try retardo. Retardo face. Set it to say. 30. Should fit on what we've got. Uh, invert it. Looks a bit weird. Anyway, 400 millimeters a second, 40% power. This is a 40 watt laser, so it does engrave rather quickly. Uh, zoom out. Download. Download to that. Make sure that where we have it is the origin. And we'll run a box around and make sure it'll fit. And it's going to try and go off the edge, I think. Let's have a look. 
No, might just fit. Anyway, I'll just run it anyway and we can have a look. And this stuff absolutely stinks. You really shouldn't be breathing this. It's pretty nasty stuff, but it's really kind of windy in here at the moment, so I've got the back door open for it, most of it to get out. might actually be able to hear the um, squeaking beeping noise. That's actually the pulse with modulation of the laser. And you can actually hear it when it's blasting away material. It's really quite cool. Not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, but this, it's actually indented in the material a bit. So to me it actually looks fairly 3D. <laughs> Probably just gonna miss the top. No, no. No. See if I can get a, if you look at that, it actually reflects the light at different angles, so it's sort of sticking, it's engraved into the acrylic. So it's actually raised up probably. Uh, maybe point, point 0.1 or 2 of a mil. So there's a definite bump there to it. Actually turned out quite well. <laughs> but yeah, you can have a lot of fun with this thing. If you drive the laser over here, put it onto the cardboard, onto the MDF. Just the focus. So we're just guessing here. Zoom in on that. Work too well. And my tripod's been used to hold the bed up, so I don't really have that to. But anyway, it, you press the laser button, it has a laser button on the controller so you can temporarily fire the laser. So you if you press and hold that, Don't try that with that air assist because that'll absolutely cover your optics in shit and you won't be able to clean them off either. They'll just bake off. Alright, zoom out. Put a nice big burn hole in there. <laughs> yeah. Now these are actually stencils. I tried out a stencil cut just on the NDF for um, some little circuit. Anyway, almost out of time on this camera. So I just got to build the Z bed and basically put a case on it and it's done. Um, issue being is this is 1800 uh, wide by what is it 1500 deep. So this is like really large. You can stand inside this thing easily. So it's probably going to be a bit difficult finding material and sheets big enough to cover the entire thing and expensive. Um, it'd be really cool if I could sort of cover it in acrylic, like a clear or semi-transparent acrylic, but that's, that shit's expensive enough in just small sheets, so I don't think I'm going to be able to afford to cover the entire thing in it. So maybe I could just use some checker plate or something, although I think that's still pretty expensive. But yeah. Anyway, I suppose I'll do another video if I ever end up doing something that worth 
put it in the video. I think it didn't quite make it through. But like I said, because the sitting on an angle, the material will and it will go out of focus as soon as it breaks off a certain so yeah, not really worried about it and just wobbles like hell too, so that kind of ruins the cut also. But anyway, thanks for watching.